So these two college disciplines, psychology and communication, uh -huh. opened your eyes to non-traditional relationships? That, like, just the classes that I took, like, okay. communication a lot, and then, like, I took, like, um, a human sexuality course, and, uh -huh. like, I, like, kind of just dove into, like, how people interact with each other. Okay. Ultimately. And, but they were, they were like pushing non-traditional relationships or like, no, just like I'm like thinking the human sexuality course in, yeah. in particular, it was just educational of like how many dips, different types of sexualities and partnerships sure. may exist and what, what the science is behind some of them and things like that. So what are your taboo opinions on monogamy and domestic partnership? I don't necessarily think monogamy is a must. I don't think it's natural i don't think it's inherent um i very much separate sex from partnership relationship so i don't think that cheating is a be all end all i think like in society there's a lot of weight on infidelity and um i think that you know of course like this i feel like it is taboo i did have a sugar daddy one time that was like you're so fascinating like you're a gorgeous woman that thinks like a man <laughs> um because i was just like no i think it's unrealistic to think that your partner is never ever going to cheat on you because they said so because everybody cheats it's uh, like <laughs> i think a large majority of people cheat. well right because you um, wrote i think you wrote here my biggest hot take cheating is inevitable and unavoidable 90 percent of the time yeah. and that's large okay yeah. um hot take. hot take there it is i mean i, I disagree i think uh Think the I mean, maybe it's lower. the men that you're chasing after that are D1 athletes. <laughs> what was it? You make a really uh, sugar daddies, trappers, <laughs> etc. Perhaps it's the men that you're pursuing that are more prone to cheating. But um, I think a lot of women are chasing after relationships with men that are frankly out of your league. Not your, not you specifically, mm -hmm. but kind of going back to that thing. A lot of women yeah. are chasing after the top tier of men. Those right. men have a sexual abundance they have an abundance of options romantically sexually etc mm -hmm. they have no incentive to really commit to one woman so mm -hmm. those are the men who like are gonna just sleep with a bunch of chicks and they're right, not they're gonna cheat they on you they're not gonna to commit to you relationship what's they're that not. then why are they agreeing to a monogamous relationship because the guy wants to know that that child is his and not somebody else's so like well. you think they're just demanding <laughs> monogamy from the woman right while yeah. not being monogamous themselves so i mean there are like if, if you actually look at it, like a lot of really successful guys will be married mm -hmm. quite young and yeah. then they would earn their they would have their success a lot later in life so if you look at the statistics a lot of the time it doesn't it's not really borne out by the statistics but mm -hmm. then again you don't really know what they do on the side but if you get right. guys who are young and successful i mean like in their 30s mm -hmm. a lot of the time they would you know be rubbing shoulders with certain crowds and they would have they would have sort of clawed their way to the top early and then they wouldn't really want to be wanting to settle down but yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of guys who become like, very wealthy I, are already married, already okay, have kids, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. So your taboo opinion was that you don't think monogamy is the natural order of things. Yeah, more or less. I think that sex can be separate from like. Sex is, if your can partner be detached cheats, from what? that doesn't mean they hate you. That doesn't mean that they're bad to you. That doesn't mean that you have a terrible relationship and shouldn't be together. That's my hot take. Like, oh I feel right, because. Like I see what you, yeah, you also wrote, staying with someone who has cheated does not make you weak. It does not mean Depending your relationship is trash. Um, yeah. I have some notes, I have some thoughts on that, but who here agrees with her? Does anybody agree with that? I've got a bit of a that? nuanced opinion on it, but you can go first. Yeah, I'll go first. I agree, I just, think they're, yeah, I don't know if you just want to hand her. Just, I, more of just a yes or no, yes. if you kind of agree that. I agree. Okay. Um, my take is, is that, um, so you said that it does not mean your relationship is trash. Mm -hmm. Your relationship may not necessarily be trash, but I would argue your partner is if they cheat on you. Um, mm -hmm. Now, maybe, I don't know if women have a different view on this than me. My advice to men, if your girl cheats on you, that's a wrap. The oh, relationship is over. Yeah. You're a dead man walking. If you have any dignity, yep. you walk and you never look back. So, mm -hmm. so maybe that applies to you but i certainly wouldn't advise men to ever stay with a girl who cheats on them yeah. it's over it's done yeah. and i know i actually well, do i like as a woman i feel like it's not that hard not to cheat but i think that men cheat far more often because they disagree. feel a need mm, to they don't. disagree okay women have more options to cheat 
Women have more ability to cheat. I, feel like I guess physically, women cheat more, but men emotionally they can't hide it, <laughs> or, or by watching. Women right. Hide it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fair. But also, fair. I think what you're saying is true in the sense of like, if you look at it biologically and like mm -hmm. anthropologically, it's right. it's proven that like you know human beings aren't necessarily meant to be monogamous. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the most healthy societies, they're yep. all nuclear family societies mm -hmm. and then as soon as the nuclear family starts to deteriorate so mm -hmm. start society starts to deteriorate mm -hmm. so if we had it our way we could all be running around and being non-monogamous in these little you know beach in thailand like little uh, like hippy dippy relationships <laughs> <laughs> on the beach. but <laughs> if we want to have healthy societies it's a man mm -hmm. and a woman in a relationship mm -hmm. with children raising those children in a two-parent household. And they're not, yeah. right, yeah. okay, yes. And you can have that. Yeah. I was raised in that family and there can still be infidelity though. Yeah, there can be. And I actually, it's actually probably a lot more common than people think. It, a lot of the time when people aren't like, like they fall that, out yeah. of love when they get a bit older, 40s and 50s and everything. Yeah. Um, the, and I'm from an Italian background and this is very <laughs> common with Italians, yeah. is that the woman has an attitude of just sort of turn a blind eye. Yeah. yeah, and this is it's it's very common. And then the guy will go out and sort of do do what he needs to do as long as he doesn't bring anything home, as long as he doesn't impregnate anybody. Right, oh. Tommy Shelby. Wins. Grid one motorsports Yo, grid one. donated Thank you, man. one hundred dollars. Very funny. The girl who has Thank not you, had a successful relationship thinks it's normal for cheating to occur. I do not know man in my circle that would even consider maintaining a relationship <laughs> with a cheater. Nothing you have said is healthy. Make better choices. Mm. Heard. And don't you think that there's something deeper going on if one or the other cheats? Like, isn't that well, that, that there's okay. a problem? So I like foster open communication in my relationships. Yeah, I say well. straightforward, if you cheat on me, please just tell me. Like, let me know. Like, it's a safety thing. You know, like, sexual health is so important. Like, I just want to know. And then I would love to dig deeper into why. Because if you are cheating on me because you don't respect me, because you are not attracted to me, because you know you're not you're not happy in our relationship that's so different than i was just attracted to that person and i ha that had nothing to do with but, you so but why would you stay like why would you continue to be with somebody who doesn't value you or want to doesn't necessarily mean that i don't valued. value value her right it's, it's just for, it for just a guy has nothing to do like, with me this is not my values personally but a lot of the time for a guy just having sex on the side with a girl isn't necessarily if there's an emotional connection and if mm -hmm. he gives her resources and he gives her his time and like then, and then that's that that's I'm not cool. But I mean, he is giving her the, his time because he's having sex with her. But that's where yeah, she she comes minutes. into play in in fostering open communication. Is mm -hmm. it? Did you do it because you were just sexually attracted to that person and you were able to disconnect the emotions and you don't want to be with that person, but you were just sexually attracted to engage in a sexual act with them? Or is it because you fell out of love with me? You have no respect for me, and now you just don't want to be with me. If they say yes to that, then absolutely you're yeah, out out the door. But if it's you just have a sexual attraction to them and you just wanted to experience an experience with them with no emotion attached right. then that's different yeah. it's not a disrespect to you because exactly. it's not it like polyamory it's a major disrespect because why aren't you enough why do they need to go and see somebody yes. else and be with somebody you else but you've also when got you're right. supposed but to be that core piece of or that partner and that's, that's the thought of monogamy is the one and only way but yeah you've, right. you've also got a good good point in the sense that yeah. you you believe in in monogamy in, monogamy in that sense mm -hmm. but i think it's just like what you said before it's all about communication you want to lay down those boundaries at the start and you want to say cheating is absolutely not on mm -hmm. and then right. if a guy comes to you it sounds like with your value structure mm -hmm. and he says you know, mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've, I've got a few things happening. I'm traveling a lot. And, you know, if, if mm -hmm. something happens, I won't tell you about it. And you say, cool, don't tell me about it. Then yeah. That's your value structure. But a lot of the time when people are trying to keep families together in particular, they'll have a little handshake agreement on the right, side. Like, don't it's, better than, it's better than breaking the family up. That's Let's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Why is that okay? Absolutely. Why is that something that we just accept and move on that's from it. instead of... You know, uh, because it's, it's two grown adults making an, a mutual agreement. Mm -hmm. If that, it, like, and that's the point where you pick someone who has morals and values that align with yours. So you would be with someone who doesn't view or yes. doesn't have that thought process. Because then that's totally once, right. Well, who's to say it's not going to happen again? Right. But there's a difference. I would say there's a difference between someone cheating because they're falling out of love or an, a, a mutual agreement between two people that understand, like, I know that you and I have an emotional connection. We have a bigger picture in life 
goals, aspirations, things that we want to achieve together, mm -hmm. but you're able to have a sexual attraction to that's somebody else. But that's what I'm saying. If there's a mutual agreement, okay. it's not cheating. Like okay. if, yes. if it's talked Absolutely. about before, right? Like obviously we want to build a future together, but if you have a sexual attraction to someone, if you're asking for permission to go and engage and in that sexual activity. And you guys would probably activity, be like, annoyed if he, if, if he lied about it. You guys would be annoyed that's because really, that's probably, that's probably, cheating. Off. Exactly. probably be annoyed that he was too much of a it. pussy to tell you right. as well. So yeah. you lose a bit of respect for him yeah. at the same time. Absolutely. What were you saying? I think it's never okay to cheat, but also it's forgiveness. If you can forgive that saying, okay, I forgive you and let's work hard. Let's fix what was ruined or why Absolutely. you went to that woman or guy. Uh, this is the main part to forgive if you can forgive if you yeah. can't yeah. then let's separate Absolutely. even though it's horrible let's right. separate and I think you have so to establish I agree that. with everyone in different levels <laughs> at the start yeah. of the relationship you kind of have to establish those boundaries like exactly. if, if, if you cheat on me it's done if, if I had like a long term relationship I'd t obviously it would go without saying mm -hmm. I would have to tell her though that if you cheat on me it's just there's just no coming back from that whatsoever mm -hmm. but you know Everyone's different in that sense. Yeah. And it sounds like to you, that would be something that you'd have to establish from the dot, from the jump. Yeah. It depends on. Right. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't understand but why communicate. Communication it needs to be established. I feel like it should just be a given. Don't cheat on me. Don't go sleep with other women if I'm trying to have a relationship with you. And right. I want a relationship society with you, says. not you yeah. and whoever else you want to have sex with. And, and it should be never the first option, mm -hmm. sorry, to cheat on. It would be the first let's go let's talk let's uh, ask for let's ask for someone for to help and it's the last it's not even an option to cheat first let's communicate let's sit down mm -hmm. i think yeah.